morning morning today is april 11th and it's 6 40 and we're getting stepping um topped off our water we camped next to that not directly next to it but next to that water tank slash spring so topped off our water there and now going 18 miles into colorado city to get a quick lunch um do a few last minute resupplies and then bang rang a few more miles out um yeah we have today tomorrow and the next day where we camped is like 60 miles almost exactly from the end so we can do it we can do it also what's very exciting is today april 11th is the day that magpie is starting to drive down so um today she's leaving our home in canada and she's starting the two-day trip down to utah to pick us up so should see her april 13th um either the night of or the morning of the 14th depends how long she takes with the drive but so excited oh i miss her so much so um yes 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 so excited so um yeah we got some road miles ahead of us should be cruisy um you never know though with the dookie duke so let's just get into it all right sorry for the lack of video but pretty much as soon as you crest that yellow spring area you have pretty good service so colorado city is right there you can see the shine of the buildings against the rock but as our route goes it's still uh, 11 miles away so we've been walking for past i don't know two three hours maybe longer been on the phone for a while with uh the cutest magpie um so she is leaving the house as we speak and on her way down to utah gonna be a two or three day drive for her so awesome so excited to see her and um yeah we're just walking this dirt road yeah again sorry for the lack of video i mean there's not a whole bunch that has changed there's a cool corral that we passed um that i wasn't able to film because i was on the phone but besides that it's been mostly this which is still beautiful but yeah you haven't missed like big big moments so just walk road for people that care that is really the first time you've had service for a long time you have like one bar service at yellow springs um right in that area but it's very infrequent as soon as you get over those like kind of roller coaster -y climbs and you got a clear shot to colorado or city, <coughs> city. It should be good so let's go get to colorado city Woo! so excited so excited let's get it I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but Z is that tiny dot way up there. He's cruising this road. I've been getting distracted by phone things. He's about eh, quarter mile, half a mile ahead maybe. He's thinking about that town, baby. Beautiful. All right, about three miles before Highway 389, there's a little windmill and little cattle trough area it says it has water but i would not rely on it it looks dry from the road um granted i have not checked on it you can check but with yellowstone spring being so good and you being this close to town i just would fill up at yellowstone spring and not rely on that could be a top off um could be a top off if there is water I don't see any signs of it, but it could be behind some of those fences. So, maps say it potentially has water. Um, you could take a gamble, or you could just go into town or fill up at Yellowstone Spring. All right, time for a little bit of pavement pounding. Just got to Highway 389. Colorado City should be about five and a half to six miles this way. So we're gonna start walking. Well, continue walking.
All right, let's get it. All right, little corner store outside of Colorado City. But also, as you can see by the sign, Colorado City, three miles. Nice. That wind is really starting to pick up. Tonight we're supposed to have like 30 to 40 mile per hour gusts. Fun. Um, yeah, that wind's really starting to gust, gust through here. So this is a little fun tidbit. So we're about two miles from Colorado City and an ABC reporter pulled over on the side of the road um, to let us know that there's high wind warnings today. Um, and she told us to stay in town and she was driving out to Kanab. She's like, yeah, I was going to go interview a farmer, but um, if I could just interview you guys, <laughs> that'll be my quota for the day. So we might do an ABC interview in Colorado City. Who would have thought? Um, I told her to go drive up to Z and talk to him as well because, um, yeah, I was going to catch him. But then I stopped and chatted with her for a little bit. But um, that's, that's so weird how, how life works out. Hopefully she can stop him. Because once he gets in the go mode, he doesn't really stop to talk to people. So hopefully she can stop him long enough that I can catch him or something along those lines. All right, weird world, weird world. So we just entered Colorado's city limits. Um, there was a sign back yonder, but actually the ABC crew was getting B-roll of us walking by, so I didn't want to film what was happening. But um, there was a sign, population 5,000, established 1985, which is relatively recent. And then there's also a sign for B's grocery store. Looks like it's got a deli and a bakery. Let's do it. Mile ahead, it said. Mile ahead. Let's get it. They even got a DG. But I'm craving like a sandwich, and Dollar General doesn't really have sandwiches. Well, not great ones. So, B's Grocery is the building right next to it. Um, big building right next to the American flag. That's where we're going. Alright, so we got our groceries at these. We just did an ABC interview, which was fun. And um, as you can see, look at the dust coming in off of this. Like, so we got a spot to stay in Hilldale. Hilldale is just going to stay for the night. Um, still only 40 miles from the end. All good. So, yeah, we're going to go escape this wind. Go back in there now since I know we're staying um, and get some more snacks. Alright. Alright, so we're leaving B's grocery and the hotel's actually 2.6 miles away, which more than I thought. Um, but over in Hilldale, so we're still gonna stay with this wind kind of coming through. But B breaking sub 40 for tonight. Staying at a hotel sub 40 miles away from the trail. And Z even got better news. He said it might even snow tomorrow. So we might even end the trail as we began it. With a little bit of snow and freezing cold temps. Bit April. Yeah, bud. Oh, and we get a Florida River tomorrow, too, in the freezing cold. That's nice. That's real nice. Oh, yeah. It's a half and half post office. That's cool. This is interesting. It's like a fortress. So the inside is just as interesting as the outside of the hotel. Um, just interesting placements of stuff, like a vanity, a vanity, TV on that wall, bed, and then the closet, like even walking here, it felt eerie down the hallways. It's just, it's not like bad, it's just interesting. 
What a trip. And they offer laundry. So first laundry in two weeks. Jacob's Lake didn't have laundry. Tucson didn't have laundry. First laundry since... Escaland? Tropic. Wow, too long. 20 days, close to 20 days, wow. Okay, all right, three o'clock, we're kicking it. All right, so folks, I have eaten half a pound of brownie, but that's not why I started this video. It's like seven o'clock. We're still chilling in the Hody Modi. Um, good things we started digging into the maps deeper. Two big things. So first thing, um, our hike tomorrow down into the East Virgin Fork River, there's an alternate out of Fat Man's Misery called the Paran Paranana, Parana, um, Paranipa, Paranicium, Paranicium, Paranicium route. I'll show you it and I'll tell you about the name once we get there tomorrow. Um, to get out of the Narrows or the Barracks, so to call them, and into Zion. But we also look like we're going to be ending our Hey Duke official route officially 11 miles early. So where the official Hey Duke ends is Weeping Rock, but the 11 miles of the East Rim Trail are officially closed and have been since 2018 or 2019, which shows you how much planning I personally do. Um, did not know about that but was on Zion's website as well as across Utah's and they offer two alternates. One of the alternates is you have to have a rappel rope to rappel down 240 feet of cliff. Can't do that. Don't have the technicality, don't have the skills, don't have the gear. Um, and then the second alternate is hitching around, which at that point you're not connecting your footsteps, you're done anyway. So where we're going to end our hike, it looks like, is at Highway 9, Checkerboard Mesa, at the official start of the East Rim Trail, 11 miles before the official, official terminus of the Hey Duke. But Z just read a report of somebody that through hiked last year, and that's where they had to end it as well. Um, there's no feasible, really, route around it right now, besides literally just road walking all of Zion which also I don't think is even feasible um, technically. So it looks like we don't have many more miles. Now we have 27 more miles to do, 28, somewhere in there. So check your maps because I don't think this is gonna change for a while, at least from the information we've got. Um, it doesn't look like it's gonna change anytime soon. So one more full day left. We have tomorrow and then eating into whatever we can four, five, six, seven miles, whatever it may be, on April 13th. All right, check your maps, folks. That's the, that's the kind of, I don't know where my brain's going. My brain's full of brownie, I can't talk. That's the message of this message, I guess. I'm gonna eat more brownie. All right.